Hello friends of No Friend Left Behind and welcome back to our channel. Shay here and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Now this video is going to be a little different because I'm going to do a Canva tutorial to show you basics of how to use Canva for creating a design. Canva is a great tool for creating designs. You can either pay for it or you can use the free version, uh, but I'll tell you more information about that within this video. Now, if you are interested in learning where my shop is, stay till the very end and I'll give you a quick overview of what's going on with my shop. And make sure if you do like this content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. So if you're interested in using Canva, this is what it looks like when you open up the app. Now, if you've never used Canva before, it is a wonderful tool that you can purchase or use for free to assist in creating designs for your print on demand shop. Now I have the pro version, but you can get the free version. I started out using the free version for a while, but I liked the app so much that I decided it was worth spending the money to get the pro version. So what I'm gonna do is I'll start out with creating a design. It's in the top right here. Once you click that, you see they have suggestions depending on what you want to create. If you wanna create a YouTube thumbnail, you're able to. You can also create Facebook posts, YouTube banners, Instagram posts, Instagram reels. There are just so many different things that you're able to within Canva. Now what I wanna do is create a custom size. So I'm going to click on custom size at the bottom left of this box. And the size that I want is for design going on a shirt in my print on demand shop. So I'll choose a size 4,500 by 5,400. I've also heard of someone else using 5,000 by 5,000, but I'm going to stick with 4,500 by 5,400 for this design. And it's gonna bring up a blank box. Now, once this blank box comes up, you'll see a list over here on the left-hand side that you're able to use. Now, the first one says designs, and there are different templates that you're able to search through. They also have styles that you can choose from. So you can choose from either combinations of colors and fonts, or you can just choose the color scheme you'd like to use, or you can just choose a font theme. Again, it just depends on what you're looking to do. So right now, what I want to do is create a Mother's Day design, even though Mother's Day has passed. And this is not a design I've done any research on. I'm just showing you how to use Canva as a design tool. Now I'm going to start with elements here on the left under design. And what I'm thinking I want to do is find an elephant. I think I may want to create a mama and mini type of a design. So this first thing I'm going to type in is mama elephant. Now typing that in will bring up a lot of different graphics photos and videos or audio that have to do with mama elephant. Again, that depends on what you're creating, but for what we need this for, it's a print on demand shirt design. Now what it came up with is what I typed exactly, mama elephant, but it's bringing up elements that I'm not quite feeling and not really what I'm looking for. So I'm going to delete the word mama and just have the word elephant. Now I have graphics of elephants they have available, and there are so many different selections, but I think I still want to try and narrow it down a little bit more. I'm going to type in the word baby after the word elephant, and it brings up a lot of really cute little designs here. So I think I want to use this one, but when you click on it, you see that it says pro here. That means that you would have to have the pro version in order to use this specific graphic. Also, any of the graphics with the little crown on it, those are only for the pro version. So if it doesn't have a crown next to it, that would be available for the free version of Canva. What you can also do is type in the word free before whatever you're looking for. That's what I used to do when I had the free version. Now we're going to use this cute little elephant right here, but we want to make it smaller. Now you see how it has these circles on the sides? or the lines in the center, you can make this graphic smaller by taking either one of the circles, left click and hold and drag to the size that you want. And by moving the lines, you can remove his lower body or if you wanna remove an ear, you can do that. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna make this smaller so that it fits my page for now. Now I'm gonna go and find a Mother's Day quote in Google that I wanna use. I'm going to type in Mother's Day quotes about love. 
Now we found the one we want to use. It says a mother's love is more beautiful than any fresh flower. Now make sure to check USPTO to ensure that it's not copyrighted. You don't want to get any copyright infringements with your design. So now that we have this adorable little elephant here, we want to add some text to the design. How you do that is by tapping on the letter T on your keyboard and a tiny text box appears right here. You're able to move the text box around, make it whatever size. You can make it larger or smaller by making sure the font box is clicked and highlighted with the purple box around it. That's how you know you're working with that element within the design. Now you can also change the font. You're able to go through the different types of fonts that Canva offers, or you can upload your own fonts. I like to use Creative Fabrica to upload fun fonts, and I've already uploaded multiple different fonts, so I'll choose from one of those. I'm going to use Pink Vibes because I think it's just so cute, and it goes really well with this little elephant. I'm going to create multiple lines for the quote. A mother's love is more beautiful than any fresh flower. So for the first line, I'll type in a mother's love. I'm going to create a second line. So I'll left click on this first line and hover over what looks like two pages in the center here. You see that it says duplicate. Well, now you can duplicate that first line and move it down here. Actually, we're going to bring it up here. That second line will say is more beautiful. We're going to duplicate that again and type then any and then duplicate one more time and change that to fresh flower. Now we've added some text. We also have our little elephant, which we'll resize one more time. What I think I want to do is actually change the font on some of these. I don't want everything to be the same font style. I think I want fresh flower to be more of a cursive look. This is pink vibes regular, and I think I want to change is more beautiful to pink vibes regular also. And you can change the font style by clicking on the text you want to change. Take your mouse up to the font styles and click on the style of font you want to change it to. Another fun tool within Canva is being able to change the color. If you don't want the text to be black, you can go to the top where the A is with all the colors underneath it. You can click on that and it'll open up a box with different ways you can either create or choose colors. Now the tools included inside are document colors, brand kit, photo colors, or default colors. You can create your own color by coming over to document colors. Click on the box with the plus sign. Now under that, there's a dropper within the box to the right. Click on the dropper tool and then you can come over to the elephant and say you want the text to be one of the pink colors from the ear of the elephant. You can create that color. Also, if there's a photo in your design, you can come down to where it says photo colors and all the colors within the photo are available. You can just click on whatever one you want to use. What I want to do is change a mother's love to the dark gray and is more beautiful will be this pink color. Then any will be the dark gray color and then fresh flower will also be that pink color. Now, another thing I may want to do is add an effect. I actually think I am going to add an effect. I'll go to a mother's love, make sure it's highlighted, and then effects should appear in the toolbar. I'm telling you, Canva has a lot of great tools that you can use within it. Now, after clicking on effects, it'll open up a box to the left with different styles. I'll go ahead and I'll explain some of those styles. This is none, so it won't have any effect on it, or you can use it to remove an effect. There's shadow, which you're adding a shadow to your text. Within shadow, you can change the direction, how blurred you want it to be, and the transparency. There's also lift, which makes it look like the text is lifted off of the design, and you're able to change the intensity. And there's also outline, which adds an outline to your text, and you're able to change the thickness of the outline on your text. You can also change the color of the outline. Now what I'm going to do is create an outline on my text. I'll be changing the color of the outline. I think what I want to do is make that pink. And then I'm going to put an effect on is more beautiful. Use the outline effect. And I actually like the color they have. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'll also do the same for the other two parts of the saying. Now we have this cute text and also a design using the elephant. There's another tool you can use in effects. Now let's click on a mother's love and tap effect. 
You can add a curve to the text by scrolling to the bottom of the box and select the box with the curved lettering. When you click the curve design element, it automatically curves down. So you're able to change the direction of the curvature by going to this toggle bar and curve it down or curve it up. Now I don't want this text to be curved, so I'm gonna take that off by clicking the first box, which is none, and that removes that effect. I still feel that the design is missing something, so I wanna add another element to it. Since it references a flower, I think I wanna add some sort of flower design. I'm gonna select element to the left and then type in pink watercolor flower. That brings up a lot of different flowers that I can sift through. Now I like the way this one looks with my design, so I'll move things around and adjust the text and picture until it fits just how I want it to. Now this just makes this project feel more complete. If you noticed when I was moving the text around and the elements within the design, you see the lines that appear? So that line shows that the fresh flower text is in the middle of my page. That also means I'll need to adjust all the text and elements within the design to ensure that everything is aligned. You can also zoom in if you need to with this toggle bar at the bottom. Now say you wanted to create a second design similar to this one, but wanted to make the letters a different color and add a different flower element. You're able to do that. The same way you duplicated the phrases earlier, you can also duplicate this whole project. You'll wanna click on the whole box, you'll see that double letter again, and you can click on the double letter to create a duplicated version. Now we can change the colors and we can also change the flower element that we used in the last one just to make it a little different, but give you two separate designs. And that is how you create a design within Canva. I do hope that video was very helpful. I love using Canva. It is such a great tool for me. I also use Kittle, but I use Canva a lot more than I use Kittle for creating my designs for my print on demand shop. If you are interested in learning more about Canva, let me know in the comments below what you're interested in learning. I can show you how to create mockups on Canva also if you are interested. Now about my shop. So I was going into this video with zero sales since April 20th of last year, but I ended up getting a sale yesterday. So yay to that. I'm very excited about it, but I still haven't had too many sales and I'm really still hoping that I end up getting a lot more once I get more listings in my shop. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I just didn't want this to be a video just talking about how I'm not getting anything, I'm not getting any sales or anything like that. I wanted it to be very positive because I still have such positivity for Etsy and I know that my shop will do extremely well. I just need to start putting even more listings in my shop and just be more consistent with my shop. So I do hope you enjoyed this Canva tutorial. I can show you how to do mock-ups in Canva as well if you are interested in that. Again, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.